I have a form for creating and editing posts. I'd like to add a field for adding an image to the post. This is trivial in server-side frameworks using tools like Carrier Wave. Here, we see that using Carrier Wave and Active Admin in Rails, it's just one line to upload our image. There are some Ember tutorials and add-ons, but they mostly seem to focus on uploading the files individually as their own record, rather than having them as part of another record. Luckily, there's one add-on that allows you to add a file to the form. Today, we're going to use Ember CLI form data in order to create a fully working form with a file upload. At the end, I'll include a quick bonus section for Rails users showing how to manipulate Carrier Wave to accept the data that Ember is sending. I don't usually include server-side stuff, but I spent enough time figuring this out that I thought it was worthwhile to share. Then, in this week's Pro episode, I'll show you how to preview the image before uploading. First, we'll install the Ember CLI form data add-on. This gives us the form data adapter mixin. When we include that mixin in an adapter, it gives us the DS adder type file for the model associated with that adapter. So, we'll generate our custom post adapter. Then, in that generated file, we'll import and include the mixin. Then, we'll go to our post model and add the thumbnail image property with the type file. Let's go to the Ember inspector and look what we're getting. We'll click on one of these objects and find the thumbnail image property, which is itself an object. We'll save it to the console. And in the console, we'll be able to drill down and find the URL. This is what we can use to display it on the page. So we'll go to the template of our show page and then use the path we traced out before to get the URL into the source attribute. We'll add the custom class small image so it will fit well within our form. When we go to the show page, we can see that we are correctly displaying the image. Now we need to, in the edit page, have the image upload field. In the edit page, we'll see that all the fields are in the edit fields component. So we'll go there and put in a file field. Then, in our save action, we'll grab the first file associated with that field, the only file associated with that field, and then set it to the thumbnail image property of our model. Then we'll save the model as before. We can test that. We will upload a random screenshot and then see if it changes it. And it does. Our file field is successful. For completeness, we'll want to add this logic to the post new page so that we can upload files when we're creating a new post as well. The template is already an edit field, so we don't need to add that. So that's it for adding a file to a form. We've got both the new and edit form sending a file up to the server and saving it. If you're not using Rails on the back end, this is the end of the episode. The techniques shown here will allow you to upload files of small to medium size. And I hope you'll join me in the pro episode to talk about how to preview the image before you upload it. If you are a Rails user, then I'm going to give you a quick bonus section on how to edit your carrier wave setup to accept the you payload have you carrier just wave it. set up to work with server-side forms. In my case, I have it set up with Fog and Minimagic. Then, in my post model, I have thumbnail image mounted as an image uploader. Then, I've done a bit of fairly standard customization in my uploader. We'll first have to change out Fog, the most commonly used method of AWS, with Carrier Wave AWS. Fog has a rare bug that happens to be triggered by what we're about to do. This involves changing the gem, and then changing the storage key in our image uploader class, and then changing the initializer. More details about this are shown in the Carrier Wave AWS README. Now we'll get into the nitty gritty of manually saving the file using Carrier Wave. We can't rely on Active Record to do this for us anymore. So we'll take our create and update methods from our general API controller, and then we'll paste them into the post controller. These are currently carbon copies of the originals, 
but if we change them, they'll overwrite the originals. And these may look slightly unfamiliar, but they're done like this to reduce extra work. So when we don't need to customize it like we are doing right now, then we can just basically do this to do everything in the post controller. All right, now to our customizations. We'll insert a save image method into each of them. In the create method, it has to go between the resource creation right here and the render. Then in the update method, it can go anywhere before the render. We'll define the save image method. First, it creates a new image uploader. Then it uploads the file from the params, saves that to the thumbnail image on the post, and then saves the post. So that's the basics of uploading a file as part of a form. Until next time, keep being awesome.